If you've written any ad copy in Google Ads recently, I'm sure you would have had your day ruined by a cheeky Google Ads dashboard telling you, quite frankly, that your ads are poor. That cuts deep, Google, it cuts deep. Now, the reason for why this happens is because at the moment, Google has a four tier ranking when it comes to grading your ad copies. And in your Google search campaigns, that's poor, average, good, and excellent. So the really important question is, is that how important are these Google ad rankings that it'll give you ad copies? And the answer to this is, it's not quite simple. It is yes and no, because the facts are that I have seen Ads that Google has rated as poor give me excellent results. And also on the other hand, I've seen ads that Google has rated as excellent give me poor results. So it's not a clear indication that just because you get an excellent ranking from Google that your ad is gonna be performing to excellent levels, just like because if you get a poor ranking, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be seeing poor results. Now, the reason for why it's not as straightforward as that is because I would say, and I would also give the warning that if this is a new campaign, so this is your first ads, and you don't have any conversion data or you don't have any click-through ratio data, then I would definitely be saying that you need to write your ads in a way that you're getting good or excellent scores. But if this is a more mature campaign and you've gone through three or four rounds of split testing, those scores aren't really relevant at all. And let me show you an example right now. So what I'm showing you here is a range of different ads. They've been running in a search campaign from the 2021, so March 2021, up until March the 18th. So this is looking at two years of different split tests. And what I wanna show you through here is that if we go down and rank this by our click-through ratio, you can see that the current ads that we've got running now have the highest click-through ratio, but look, they have ranked poor and average. And then if we also to rank this down by the cost per conversion and the conversion rates, you can see once again, these top three, which have the highest conversion rates and the best cost per conversions, once again, they have that poor and average score. Now let's go down to where we have an excellent ranked ad. And you can actually see that the click-through ratio is really, really low. It's 7.18 with a cost per conversion of $89 and that conversion rate of 3.47. Compared to what we're seeing right now with those click-through ratios of of up to 30% and 16.5% with conversion rates just under 15%. So that's a big increase on what we're seeing down here when we had that excellent ad strength. So those results that I just showed you give really strong proof that you don't just blindly follow the ad ranking that Google gives you. So as we saw, the current best performing ad has an ad strength ranking of poor, but it's giving a click-through ratio of over 40% and a conversion rate of just under 15%. Amazing results. But what I do wanna stress with that example is that that was after two years of split testing. And you can even see right at the start of that split testing journey in March, 2021, when we first started to introduce responsive search ads, we made sure that those responsive search ads had that excellent ranking. Now, the reason for why that's so important is because that ad rank is important when you don't have any existing click-through ratio and conversion metrics. And the reason for this is because you know that a core element with the Google search algorithm is that Google only gets paid when people click on your ads. So Google is putting some data together when it's putting your ads into an auction and it's really ranking is, will this ad actually get clicked on? If this is a new campaign, you don't have any click-through ratio, you don't have any historical conversion metrics, the only thing that Google really has is that ad ranking. So that's why it's really important that when you're starting a new campaign that you do get those good and if you can, excellent scores. But after you've built out that click-through ratio, now because that ad, even though Google ranks it as poor, Google is giving it a boost because it has an incredibly high click-through ratio and an incredibly high conversion rates that are outperforming competitors in the market. So by breaking that all down, this is what I want you to take away from that, is that at the start, please do pay attention to those ad rank scores. But as I said, after you've completed three or four rounds of split tests, you can not worry about those ad rank scores as much and you can really be dictated by the click-through ratios and the conversion rates. Now, you heard me talk about split testing process. And what I wanna to do to help you with that is that I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this lets you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Google Ads account. And it even tells you for something like your Google Ads ad copy split tests, you need to complete that every 30 days. So if you wanna get free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, 
All you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's go back into a screen share because I now want to break down and to give you some greater context of how these ad ranks are created. Now, when you're creating your responsive search ad or you're editing your responsive search ad, right here, you will see this score at the top. And you can see that it's made of four different components. Now, as we've showed you before, this is the current ad that we're running that has the poor ranking, but is getting the amazing results. But as I said, that's after two years of split testing. So we've got really clear indicators of what works for this campaign. So what you wanna be doing is in order to get a score of excellent, you need to have a tick on each one of these four. And what it's looking at is to add more headlines. So what you'd wanna be doing is making sure that you're getting your full allotment of 15 headlines, as you can see through here, I've only got 12, but once again, we've got that data, so we know the 12 that are working for us. You wanna be including your keywords in your headlines. Now, a great way of doing this is by using this dynamic keyword insertion. If you don't know how to use that, it's basically you go through into a headline and you type in a squiggly bracket, and then that'll show up the keyword insertion. Type in your keyword through there and click apply. And what that allows you to do is you can see through here, every time this preview goes through, you can see that this first headline will change. So fitness software app, gym management software, club fit software. So it changes dependent on the keyword that triggered the ad. So it's a great way of easily making sure that you're gonna be hitting off this tick. Then you need to also make your headlines more unique. Now this is where this one has gone down because I've actually got two different headlines pinned in. So if I was to remove these pins, if you don't know what the pin is, it's saying that to Google that I only want this headline to appear in position two. You can see straight away, that our ad rank has gone up from poor to good. And you can see that this make your headlines more unique has now been removed. But because we've got lots of data showing that this is the current split test that we're doing, that's why we're gonna keep these in here. And then finally, you can make your descriptions more unique. So once again, the reason why it's not there is because we've got this one pinned in here. So if we were to remove all of these pins, it would probably take us up to excellent. And let's prove this, is the last one gone? Oh, you can see we're, we're up at good. So you do need to remember that pinning in your headlines does actually bring your score down. But as we said, looking at the data that we've got, the reason why we've put that in is because we've got two years of different ad copy tests. So at the start, I would definitely recommend that you're getting your ads in a way that you can do excellent. And then after time, when you do your split tests, you can not be as highly reliant on this ad strength and really be guided by the click-through ratios and the conversion rates. So that is now cleared up for you what to do when you get that poor ranking or that good ranking or that excellent ranking from Google for your responses search ads. Remembering that, especially when you're looking at a new campaign, do try and get a good, if possible, an excellent ranking. But after you've gone through your rounds of split testing, especially three or four rounds of split testing, to really be guided by your click-through ratio and your conversion rates, and not to focus so much on the score that Google is giving you. And also remember that if you want extra help with optimizing your Google Ads search campaigns, to follow that link in the description below so that you can get free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And if you'd like to see more about how I complete my ad copy split tests for Google search campaigns, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I look forward to seeing you in this video to learn more about split testing right now. See ya.